What's going on, guys? I'm Ryan Roots. And I'm Ellie Roots. And, and together, together we, we are Rally, Rally Roots. Roots. Nailed it. Didn't even have to look. Boom. <laughs> so we wanted to do an updated version of our shipping video for 2017. We've done one in the past, but shipping charges have changed. And some of the ways that we ship stuff on eBay have changed as well. So in this video, we're going to be talking about our five top ways to ship our items that have sold on eBay. Before we get too into it, what I will say as well is that the shipping charges that we tell you may be slightly different for you just because our discounts that we get through eBay may be slightly different. We've tried to price it a little bit on the higher end um, just in case you guys aren't getting the same kinds of discounts, but just be aware our figures may be a few cents off here and there. Y'all ready for this? <laughs> also, during this video, we're going to show you how to get free supplies. Okay, so our five top ways to ship on eBay, we're going to tell you all five of them, and then we'll talk about each one of them and tell you guys some of the pricing that we found. So by far, our favorite way is first class mail. Because it's the cheapest. <laughs> That's true. Our second favorite way to ship is a padded flat rate envelope or just a flat rate envelope which is not padded third is regional box a there's two different sizes that we'll show you guys fourth is fedex smart post yeah so fedex smart post or fedex home delivery two different options we use both of them and then lastly for very big boxes we like to use ups ground okay shipping option number one is first class shipping with all of our first class stuff on ebay we like to use these poly mailers um, and again, guys, we'll link all the supplies that we use in the video description. You can find everything that we use in the description of this video. Mm -hmm. So with eBay, with first class stuff, all we do is we take our item that's sold, we wrap it in bubble wrap, and we stick it in the first class mailer, as long as it's not something that's fragile. If it's something that's too fragile, we'll put it in a little first class box and then we'll ship it on. But usually it just gets bubble wrapped and it gets put in one of these mailers with a thank you note from us and that's how it gets shipped out. And just know guys, you can't use a priority mailbox with a first class label on it. Yeah. We made that mistake because it was a small priority mailbox and we put a first class label on it and the mailman told us, no, you can't do it. And we <laughs> looked it up and no, you can't do it, right. so. And that's a good point too because the post office actually just released a statement saying that they're gonna be uh, more picky about the labeling that's going on packages and the stuff will be returned to you. So even stuff like putting a priority mail uh, sticker on a medium flat rate box, you can't do it. Even though the medium flat rate box is a priority box, you have to put medium flat rate postage on that box. So just be careful about how you're labeling stuff and be careful about the boxes that you are using. So the pricing for our first class items. On items up to four ounces, we pay $2.61 in postage to send those items. For items from five to eight ounces, we pay $2.77. So our favorite kind of items to get are very lightweight items under eight ounces that we can ship very easily and that sell for a high value amount. Hard to find those type of items, yeah. but those are our favorite. Those are ideal. <laughs> yes. Once you go over eight ounces, so like nine ounces for us is $3.32, I believe, and then 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 16, it goes up about 20 cents per ounce up to 16 ounces. 16 ounces is the cutoff for first class mm -hmm. shipping on eBay. If you're not shipping first class on eBay, like if you go into the post office, more than likely they'll tell you that you can only ship items, I believe, that are 12 ounces or less. Yeah. Is it 12 or 13? I think it's 12. But on eBay, we still have the option to ship up to 16 ounces, which is nice. And sometimes the post office has been wrong when we've gone in. So make sure you do do your research because yeah. those employees don't always know the rules, even though that you would hope they would. Just <sighs> don't take it for granted. Definitely right. do your research. But if you're selling something on eBay, the best thing to usually do is to ship the item directly on eBay. Because again, when you buy the label as well, sometimes you get a discount, and also the tracking information for that item is automatically uploaded, and your customer can track the item. Yeah, and always weigh your item. Don't just put 16 ounces for everything. Get True. a scale, invest in a scale. In the end, every 10 items you sell, it'll save you about eight to $9. Yes. If you're actually putting in the proper weight, so. 
And the scale that we like to use is this little Saga scale. This is the one we use for our lighter weight items. It's good up to 66 pounds, but we don't like to weigh anything more than like 20 pounds on the scale, but it is a very good durable little scale. And again, we've linked the scale down in the description. We have a small one for smaller packages and a larger one for our larger packages and our Amazon stuff and our wholesale stuff. That one's good up to, I believe like 440 pounds. Um, both of those are linked in the description below. Remember when we used to weigh 50 pound boxes on that tiny little scale, how annoying <laughs> it was? And then we finally got like a six scale. to eight months later, a bigger scale. And I wish we had done that from the beginning. True. So yeah, just learn from our mistakes, guys. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the second shipping option that we like to use are flat rate envelopes. There's two different kinds. There's this one, which is a flat rate padded envelope. And this is a non padded flat rate envelope. And they both seal themselves. Extra yep. sticky. So nice. This one is only $5.95. So that's really, really great whenever you have something that fits in there. You can wrap it in bubble wrap and then stick it in here. I mean, you will save so much for money sure. using these. Good for clothing. Good for those lighter weight clothing items. Or good for those clothing items, sorry, that are over a pound that fit in that type of envelope. Yeah. And then this one here is about $6.50. So that's the postage on the padded flat rate envelope. Our third favorite shipping method is Regional Box A. There's two different size options for Regional Box A. The first one is this rectangular one. What's the size of this thing? This is considered a top loader, this one. Like a washing machine? <laughs> <laughs> so this is a 10 by 7 by 4.75 inches. And this one is the second one. It is a side loader. Side loader. Yep. And these ones, the maximum weight is 15 pounds. It even says so on the box. Mm -hmm. uh, and then anything above that is regional B. Right. And that's up to 70 pounds. But we have never had something that I can remember that was... That like fit in one of these boxes that, that was, was over, over 15, 15 pounds. pounds. Ever. Yeah. Not once. That's never happened to no. us. But, I mean, what if someone's selling like fishing weights? I sure. don't know. Then or gold bars. Or gold. There you go. Can I get some? Can I get some gold bars? <laughs> so the average cost for us on these boxes is $8.15. It does vary from location. So these are not flat rate boxes. Some people do like to call them flat rate boxes, but for us, for example, shipping within Florida costs us like $5.15. Shipping to California costs us $10.28 or something like that. So the pricing does vary depending on how far the item's going, um, but the weight doesn't matter up to 15 pounds. And it's still cheaper than a, what is it, medium flat rate box. Mm -hmm. Yeah, not, it's still not quite, cheaper. Yeah, not quite as big as a medium flat or a large flat rate box, but definitely a cheaper option than that. So we like these ones. Yeah, these are our favorites. We use these all the time. Mm -hmm. You may have noticed on one of those boxes there was eBay tape. We do like to use the eBay tape. Mostly because when you have a store on eBay, when you pay for a store, each quarter they send you a coupon for free eBay shipping supplies. So I think with our store, we get a $50 coupon and we use that usually to buy eBay tape. We do also buy to buy the eBay branded poly mailers and some of the boxes, but the eBay tape is great because tape's kind of expensive. Tape is very expensive. Yeah. Yeah. And this tape's worked fine for us. I know some people don't like it because they say it smells weird. It does, it smells weird. But if you let it air out before you use it, it's actually okay. It doesn't let, smell that bad anymore. We let all of our tape air out before mm -hmm. we use it. So we like to use the eBay tape, um, and we like to use these Duck brand tape guns with the padded handles. Mm -hmm. Again, link in the description if you need any of this equipment, guys. So the next option that we like to use with shipping on eBay is FedEx Smart Post or FedEx Home Delivery. Those are for items that are a little bit heavier that we don't want to put in a medium flat rate box. We want to ship a little bit cheaper than that. Um, just make sure as well, guys, when you are listing your mm -hmm. items, Make sure that your shipping description matches the um, the service you're going to be using. So, for example, FedEx Smart Post can take a little bit longer to get to the client than a priority mailbox, or really, it'll take like double the time sometimes. So, just make sure you're putting that in your listing. Don't list an item as free priority shipping or priority shipping, and send it FedEx Smart Post because it's not going to get to the client in time. But FedEx Smart Post is great for us. We like to use it for items that are like five to seven, 10 pounds. Um, so we've been doing that with our toasters and our DeLonghi items. Exactly, Yeah. exactly. So when you use the FedEx Smart Post to ship as well, you can't use those uh, priority mailboxes because those are from the post office. So you wanna grab like these 
just brown boxes. What we like to do sometimes is when we buy stuff from Amazon, they send us these boxes, these prime boxes, and we just keep them and we recycle them for the items that we use to send uh, FedEx Smart Post. I'm all about recycling because when I was a kid, they ingrained that into you to recycle and you save money, but honestly, I feel a lot better about myself yeah. when I recycle, so we always recycle. Yes. And nobody has ever complained about us using recycled items, which is no, good one for of, you guys to know. People do not complain about you no. recycling, and if someone were to, just explain you like to recycle. <laughs> yeah. Actually, one of my favorite things to do is take a Amazon box and tape it over with eBay tape. So they get like an Amazon Prime box with eBay tape over it. It doesn't matter, guys as long as you're shipping the product on time and the item is the, the item that they wanted. So for for FedEx Smart Post or FedEx Home Delivery, on average to ship like a seven pound box for us costs us between 11 and $14. So like you can see, a little bit more than that regional A box, but if it's too heavy or if it's a bit of a bigger item that doesn't fit in those box, that's when we like to use the FedEx Smart Post or the home delivery option. For large heavy items, USPS is almost double. Yeah. in price than the FedEx Smart Post and or home delivery. So always consider it, always look at your options. Mm -hmm. And once you get very acquainted with it, you'll know, you will, you'll get comfortable with it and you'll know which one is the option to choose. And you can buy FedEx postage directly on eBay the same way that you buy USPS postage. It's just a drop down option on eBay. Just click it, drop it down to FedEx and you can put in your weight and dimensions and it's literally the same way as shipping anything else. And then lastly, our favorite way to ship these larger items, so big boxes, 18 by 18 by 24 boxes that are like 50 pounds, we like to use UPS ground to ship those boxes. So on average, when we're shipping something like that using UPS ground, it's costing us anywhere from 25 to $35 mm -hmm. for a 50 pound large box. But again, that's gonna be a much cheaper option than USPS or FedEx most of the time, unless yeah. it's going within state or something like that. So if you buy a vacuum, that's probably <laughs> the way you're gonna ship it. <laughs> Correct. Now, UPS shipping, as far as I know, I haven't been able to, you cannot buy that shipping on eBay, but you can buy it through PayPal. And what I'll do is I'll flash to my laptop screen now, and I'll show you guys exactly how to find that shipping option so that you know that it's out there. The cool thing about PayPal is even if you buy your shipping through PayPal, if the item is sold on eBay, they still communicate with each other. And if you buy the shipping through PayPal, it will still upload the tracking information to eBay and show as your item has been shipped. Yeah, they're linked, they're friends. They're friends. They used to be the same company, actually. Not anymore, <laughs> Not anymore. though, right? Yeah. yeah. So buying UPS shipping through PayPal is very simple. Once you've logged into your PayPal account, all you do is you find the item that is sold or the payment that you've received and you click on that item. Once you've clicked on that item, it'll pull up a sales sheet like this. And very simply right here, you just click on ship and then it'll pull up a shipping page. Once you're in the shipping page, you can change the carrier from USPS to UPS and then you can change the service type to UPS ground. And then from there, it's very simple. Just the weight, dimensions, and you hit calculate, and there you go. You can buy the shipping directly from your PayPal account, and it will link back to your item being sold on eBay. And then last of all, guys, free shipping supplies. So USPS.com, you can go there and you can literally get free shipping supplies. So the ones that I showed you, the, the priority boxes, the padded flat rate envelopes, the regular envelopes, you can go to USPS.com and order those supplies for free. And again, I'll flash over to my computer right now and I'll show you guys exactly where to find those items and how to order them, because it is really helpful. You don't have to go and buy boxes. You don't have to spend money on priority boxes. You can literally go and order free supplies. Ordering free supplies on USPS.com is very simple. All you have to do is go to the mail and ship tab, and then you go to order stamps and supplies. Under that section, there's a shipping supplies tab. Just click on that. And then under that section, there is a free shipping supplies section. If you click on that, that'll show you all the supplies that you can get from USPS for free. So for example, here's the padded flat rate envelopes. You can click on those and you can order them in packs of 10 or packs of 15. And I believe you can order 10 at a time. So 10 packs, so 100 of those envelopes at once. 
And from there, it's very simple. You just put in your shipping information and they will ship it to you for free. So it literally is 100% free shipping supplies. You can also go into the post office and pick up free shipping items, but rarely ever do they have what you need. <laughs> That's true. Like they've never had what yeah. we needed, but twice ever. And make sure when you go to USPS.com and order shipping supplies, be willing to wait because a lot of the times it takes like two weeks for the supplies to get to you. So make sure that you're ordering your supplies far ahead of time. <laughs> yeah, don't procrastinate. We've done that. We regretted it. Don't do that. <laughs> I hope you guys didn't hear my tummy growling in the video. Are you hungry? My, yeah. I mean, I ate breakfast before leaving, but that was a while ago. I just had a protein oh, shake. Oh, it's growling again. <laughs> and there you go, guys. That is the updated 2017 shipping guide. Today, it is July. What's the date today, actually? Oh, I got you. I July 25th. So July 25th, 2017. Those are our five top ways to ship for 2017. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you got something out of it. I know that it can be a little bit daunting, especially when you first start to figure out how to ship stuff. We lost a lot of money on shipping when we first started out in this business. Yep, So that's and, a fact. And shipping the wrong way can definitely affect your bottom line. So look into those options, guys. Those are the ones that we like to use. Yeah, I would recommend if you were gonna spend money on anything, a scale. Yeah. You can even get the really cheap ones at Walmart for mm -hmm. like the they're not digital oh i hate using a not digital scale but <laughs> the one with the little money, do, 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 do. oh my gosh for like weighing pounds. food oh i do not like those but <laughs> no don't do that you, don't spend the 20 bucks and get a digital scale <laughs> get a digital scale i mean maybe there's some on craigslist and let go True. and offer up and True. all those other websites for yeah. people who just have a scale they don't want anymore i mean but i'd rather have it just delivered to to us <laughs> and again guys if you do need shipping supplies we try to link everything in the description below if you have any questions about shipping please feel free to leave them in the comments and somebody will probably answer it for you maybe even yeah. us <laughs> <laughs> but thanks again for watching our channel guys please subscribe if you haven't subscribed give this video a big thumbs up yeah if you know anybody who needs this information if they need help with shipping please share this video and we will see you on the next one. Thanks Bye. for watching, guys. I'm Ryan Roots. And I'm Allie Roots. And together we, we are Rally, Rally Roots. Roots. Kind of missed it time. that time. Do it again. Rally Roots. Rally Roots. <laughs> Rally Roots. <laughs> <laughs> see you later, guys.